Welcome to NIA News. Connecting groups related to mainland spouses, Chinese Association for Relief and Ensuing Services organized focus group workshop activity. Mainland Affairs Council, Executive UN and Chinese Association for Relief and Ensuing Services held a focus group workshop for mainland spouses to update the Information Act and build a communication network in order to assist organizations related to mainland spouses. There were law and regulation advocacy, integration of welfare resource, and sharing of family experience during the activity. The Director of Chinese Association for Relief and Ensuing Services, Chang Chen Tong, said that he hoped that the organizations related to mainland spouse may strengthen ties. Integration of resources and care service for the mainland spouse in the future. National Immigration Agency, Tsuichi Foundation and Fishermen's Association in Suau District provide health care clinic for foreign crew. National Immigration Agency, Tsuichi Foundation and Fishermen's Association in Suau District organize health care clinic to provide care for foreign crew. The team leader of National Immigration Agency in Kilong, Huang Chin Sui, said foreign crews give a lot of economic contribution to the country. They spend most of their time at sea where they have limited medical equipment. They usually have to wait until the weekend to go to the hospital, when the clinics and hospitals are mostly closed. It is not convenient for them to look for a medical treatment. Therefore, National Immigration Agency, Tsuichi Foundation, and Fishermen's Association in Suol District organize health care clinic for them. Inheritance of Native Language Completion of Native Language Teachers Training Program in New Taipei City New Taipei City Department of Education organized a ceremony for the completion of teacher training program on December 14, 2014. There were a total of 47 new residents in the training program. The Secretary of Education in New Taipei City, Ling Tan Chao, said every native language teachers are carrying a sacred mission. They have to lead the second generation of new residents to be able to see the world while they are living in Taiwan. New Taipei City Department of Education said the classes for native language teachers will start on March next year. Welcome new residents to register in New Taipei City Department of Education. Taiwan son-in-law donated his collections. National Museum of Taiwan History adds another precious literature collection of Western documents. Professor Ocean Wen, a U.S. citizen together with his Taiwanese wife, donated precious Taiwanese historical books to National Museum. Professor O oh has repeatedly come to Taiwan to do research and give lectures at academic institutions. He donated books of a complete and systematic record of Taiwan from the perspective of the West for around 300 years to the museum. The museum will open an exhibition of these books to the public so that the people may learn more about Taiwan history. Thank you for watching NIA News.